When asked how he knows this, Lucas admits that he was the one who hired Stan. Upon hearing this, the head of the council orders the guards to eliminate Lucas. However, Lucas comes up with an idea. He suggests that Zack use the potion to shrink Stan, just as Lucas himself was shrunk. Together, they embark on a journey to seek assistance from the wasp's nest since their lives are also in danger. The wasps agree to help the ants in their mission to eliminate the exterminator. Mounted on the backs of wasps, the ants soar towards Stan's head, only to discover that he is wearing earphones, protecting his ears. Taking advantage of this situation, Stan easily repels the attacking insects while he takes a moment to recharge. During this interval, he removes his earphones, and Lucas attempts to approach and attack him. However, the wasp carrying Lucas is thrown off balance, causing him to land on Stan's head. There, Lucas encounters numerous lice thriving amidst an abundance of dandruff. Stan scratches his scalp, prompting Lucas to leap onto his face in an effort to escape. Unfortunately, the boy falls into Stan's nostril but is expelled when Stan blows his nose. Fortunately, Hova is nearby and manages to offer Lucas a ride. Just when they think everything is under control, they come under attack and tumble to the ground. The wasp lands on top of Hova, rendering them both immobile. As the smoke approaches, Lucas considers fleeing but remembers the importance of teamwork among ants and refuses to abandon his group. He cradles the wasp in his arms, freeing Hova and enabling the three of them to escape. They come across the mailbox, where Hova climbs up and Lucas follows closely behind. It seems like Lucas has been engulfed by the smoke, but to everyone's surprise, he successfully ascends the wooden stake, saving his life and the life of the wasp. After hitching a ride with Zack, they devise a new strategy. Instead of pouring the potion into Stan's ear, they opt to apply the liquid to the wasp's stinger. The wasp then stings the exterminator on his backside. Within moments, the man begins to shrink. Stan doesn't shrink to the size of an ant, but rather diminishes to the height of a child. Now defenseless, the remaining wasps join forces to attack him. Due to his reduced stature, Stan is unable to reach his van and resorts to stealing a tricycle to make his escape. After the successful assault, the ants return to the colony and declare Lucas as their hero. The queen appears and grants him his freedom. Before bidding farewell to his friends, Lucas says his goodbyes to Hova, and Zack presents him with the growth potion. The boy ventures outside, consumes the liquid, and returns to his normal size. His grandmother, who had been observing through binoculars, is ecstatic to see Lucas back to his usual self. Several hours later, the Nichols family returns from their trip, and Lucas eagerly rushes to embrace his mother. As his parents head into the store to store their bags, Steve and his gang emerge, intending to bully Lucas. However, undeterred, the boy decides to confront Steve. Steve becomes furious and threatens Lucas, prompting the boy to ally himself with the weaker boys and stand up against Steve's tyranny. The younger boys eagerly join in and chase after Steve, who flees in fear. Now free from the bully's influence, they invite Lucas to join them in play. Before leaving, the boy scatters a few jelly beans around the anthill. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next movie. Goodbye.